Welcome to the tale of why so many people are moving back home. Once upon a time, millions of people, as if by divine order, started to move back home to Africa. But why? The laws of nature suggest that legacy is ingrained into the souls of everything with breath. And this is how the heart travels, trusting that all it has left lives on to be found again in a shared smile or a similar walk. Our genes are very interesting. The science of epigenetics explores how events that happened generations ago can inform how genes are expressed in generations to come. For example, if a people went through years of trauma like slavery, their great-great-grandchildren can find themselves more susceptible to mental illnesses. So imagine how much our bodies still respond to our past. Is that where black resilience today comes from? If our scientific bodies are still products of the past, maybe that's why everyone is craving home. My daughter, she went to Ghana. She didn't want to come back. She really enjoyed it, and I think it's because of the freedom that they had. She had their playing outside. When you are home, nobody is looking at you differently because you've all got the same color skin. Back home, if he were to be back home, I'll have no fears at all. Going to school, I'll have no fear that he will be picked on or discriminated against. I want you to treat everybody the same, no matter what their colour is. Even as seas separate our ankles and the land breaks between the source, our bones, our flesh, is still yours. I guess we are giving them a great sense of belonging. It's great that black people represented how they feel they should be represented back in America. Billboards full of black people, everything, black CEOs, black owned businesses everywhere, 80% of the place. So it's great to create a sense of belonging and also connecting them back to their culture. I'm glad to be one of the reasons, or create one of the reasons people are coming to Ghana. Afro Chala, the concept, and one of our other co-founders, Abdul. Yeah, Abdul used to come to Ghana all the time. So you come to Ghana and you have all these other events and they weren't really connecting. So he had the idea for the festival to really tap into our culture, to make it cool. Because growing up, African culture was laughed at. It wasn't cool in classrooms to say you're African. But I want us to create a space where everyone, every African in any part of the world can call Ghana home. Nkrumah brought Martin Luther King here to Ghana to try and help win the fight for um, civil rights in America. Shows how far ahead he was. Nkrumah could have picked the wrong guy and nothing would have happened. But Nkrumah, even this, everything he was doing, fighting for Ghana's independence, he was still thinking about the bigger picture and that, okay, 1957, we are Ghanaians, we are Africans, we can vote. But the Africans I was just living with in America still couldn't vote. The family tree stretched into many gardens, seeds carried in the wind like music, or stolen from the soil it was used to, buried, bloomed. Look at what became of you. One million and one vines wrapped around the spine of a new flagpole. But moving just like you might, improving the light in a stranger's sky until time felt just bright enough to light the road right back home. Our parents had to build for us a new world, but they built it with enough power for us to choose it, or change it, or get moving. And if there's one thing these ankles have always done well, is find the music to move to. The heart is a very interesting thing because it's one of our purest places of communication. The heart is the first organ to appear in the womb when a child is being formed. Before the brain, the heart comes into existence. You come here drumming, you come here on rhythm and everything else fashions itself after that. The song that really transformed my life was Zombie because 
most of West Africa was underneath military governments at the time. And all of a sudden this song came along which totally dismantled our fear of soldiers. Music changes the world. Who's the one always creating the music? It's us. We find the resonance amongst ourselves and then slowly but surely the rest of the world catches up. But this is the first time that African music is becoming or has become the dominant music force amongst a certain section of the population. And I think it's just exciting. It's something that unites us all is always going to bring about huge changes. Say it's homecoming, we all felt the drumming. We all missed the loving that was coming from the motherland. A million flights into the palms of my mother's hands. A million miles under a cross, one sky. A million hearts, a million minds, a million chances to roll back time. We've begun a new chapter in the story of our soul. We're planting new seeds in our old home. Adding colour to a shadow. Kissing the sun back into our skin. Waking up grandma who rests on the hammock of our ribs, revisiting the home of our heart, trusting the pulse of their palms to carry us back safely, back to us.